Okay, so welcome back to the Neverwinter Nights 2 rebuild of the Icewind Dale game. Um, I f went and saw an, a video on where I how lead. to get that place in the back opened. Apparently there's an encounter I haven't triggered yet. Um, you go in the back there and supposedly... What do you want? Where I From what I could tell, it might be that I need to do something else first, like kill Marketh. But, um... I'm gonna go ahead and try the, uh, this again. Before I go back into the place with where the, um... I'm gonna try this again before I go back into the mines. Because I just saw a video walkthrough. That got in here and somebody got attacked by a whole bunch of things. Uh, I think I need to kill Marketh. Get food. So I can get this guy to talk to me and tell me how to do things. Greetings. What is this place? Mm. Malavon? He's dead, friend. You don't have to worry about him anymore. What? You got rid of Malavon? Well, Kalar Durin be praised. I never thought I'd live to see the day when that insane bastard got his due. You seem like a different, diff, decent fellow. I'll show you how to get to a safe haven if you'll help my people. Of course I'll help you. Just let me know what I need to do. You're such a kindly So Why don't you bring me... Okay. Where can I get some food? Malvorn's dead. And... Of Duradel Anatha. Okay, so... Before we go, Imadia, we're going to go take on Marketh. Which probably... I'm all geared up for Imadia and her elementals now. But oh well. Oh, nope. Wrong place. What am I doing for damn... <laughs> Plus 19... Remains. Callard and Callard's son. Greetings. What are you doing in here? Lord Chamberlain Marketh will harm you if he finds you. <gasps> Thank you for your concern. I'll be all right. Well, all right. Don't say I didn't warn you, though. This is a dangerous place. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Callard, a sculptor for Lord Chamberlain Marketh. He took me out of the mine so my son and I could sculpt a statue of him. Lord Chamberlain Marketh made us tear down the statue of Dorne. Poor Dorne. It's a good thing he can't see his little palace now. This is a very detailed sculpture. How do you manage to do it without having Marketh here? Serve, when we serve Nebulin sculptors, see a person's face, it becomes a block of stone. Inside of every block of stone, there are a million faces. By looking at a block of stone, we instantly know how to chisel away everything that is not the face we see in our minds. Really? No, actually, we just use this drawing of him. It's pretty good. Flozum was one of Lord Chamberlain Marketh's bot bodyguards drew it. You can have it if you want. We already have most of the detail done. The face and the ring were the hardest parts. Thanks. It seemed pretty easy going for a man who lives in constant fear of his life. I don't fear for my life. I just for my sons. Fear is the one thing I wouldn't give Marketh. I would fight for him, mine for him. I'd even die for him to save my son. I'd never let him terrify me. That's why he went after my son. We're almost half the size of Marketh, but we're all bigger men than he is. Thanks. Farewell. 
Greetings. Watch your back. I, I, I don't get to hear about... I don't get to hear about what Dorn would think. Okay. What's this? Mines. Temple. Palace. I don't want to go to the palace yet. I have a feeling that'd be the last place I want to go. The whole Brother Pokelin thing. You sh This is rather, um... I'm using. We're opening doors all over the place. Sack of potatoes. Hello there. Oi, what are you doing in my kitchen? I'm looking for Mar for Marketh. All right, now, last I knew Marketh was upstairs. I'm just his cook. I don't matter for nothing. Don't hurt me, mate, please. So, fine, just stay out of trouble. Okay, mate, I think I'll just do that. I'll do just that. And we got some food. Greetings. Who are you? I'm Flozum. Who are you? Are you the you are the one who drew the portrait of Marketh, aren't you? Yeah, so what? Uh well, thought it was nice, that's all. Thanks. What are you doing in here anyway? Nothing. I'll be leaving now. Farewell. Sure, see you later. Appears to have seen very little use. No, oh, not right now. Farewell, Flozum. Brief history of Cholt. Magical theory and practice. Ancient Corvier. Mysteries of the ancient... Nothing. Ah, there we go. Drafting table. Hello there. Well met. May I have the pleasure of your name? My name is Ginefe. Not a big talker, are you, Ginefe? What happened to your eye, Ginefe? I accidentally fell down the stairs. Right. If you say so, seriously, who did that to you? Please don't hurt him. It's not Mark Hef's fault. It's mine, really. I shouldn't have made him angry. Hurt him. I'm going to smash his face in if I ever meet him. No, please don't. Whatever he's done, you must promise you won't hurt hurt him. I can't promise you anything. In that case, we have nothing to talk about. Farewell. Hello there. How did you wind up here? I should have seen it coming. I abused Malvon constantly while I was growing up. When my reverend... Revered brother Pokul and his lieutenants met with my people. I slight, slighted Marketh. I wouldn't speak to him because he was male. Instead, I spoke with Maiden Ilmadia. After a long discussion, our city could find no reason to ally with Pokulin. Unlike the rest of my people, Malavon wanted to join the revered brother. I discovered this, so he abducted me and took me to Marketh for safekeeping. They eventually found out anyway. Now Pokulin is planning some sort of assault to my former home, and I, I am left here with Marketh. Why don't you just leave? My brother Malavon placed a series of spells on me. If I ever cross the boundaries of the palace, the first two spells will destroy my natural resistance to magic, and the third spell will extinguish my life force. 
I found this potion. It destroys magical effects on people who drink it. Do you think you could use it to remove Malvon's contingency spells? I could, I, but I need to stay here for, with Marketh. He needs me. Thank you for trying to help me, though. She is... She is... Uh, well, she's Drow, and it sounds like she was an evil Drow. Please him. Great deal of use. It, much different from, uh... Greetings. Hey, what are you doing here? Must have lost my way. Perhaps you could help me. Wait, what are you heading? I'm looking for Seth. Little Runt's usually down by the front of the palace, harassing everyone who passes by. If you can't find him there, he might be in his room on the third floor. Thanks. Farewell. Sorry, young fellow, but I can't let you go. I get the impression you're up to no good. I'm going to have to prevent you from wandering around my employer's home, causing mischief and the like. <laughs> Well, that didn't take too long. Full of war mimbles, medals from the Symbium army. Umber Hulk mandibles. What a gif. Mm -hmm. Fallen paladin called Methane Blackwatch used this weapon to kill 101 knights of his former king, Methane's family, Chamberlain. Had a long tradition of producing paladins of Tyr. Methane's father, Garland, slew a powerful high priest of Bane who had been posing a threat to the kingdom. The priest's evil magic brought him back from the dead. This priest, called the Chamberlain Haunt, cursed the Chamberlain family to only produce stillborn children until he had been appeased. Methane, as a heritage of family, took it upon himself to remove the curse. Chamberlain Haunt told Mathane he must kill 101 knights of the king. Mathane began his grim task, slaughtering every knight he came across. He brought the skull and shield of each warrior to the Chamberlain Haunt as proof of his deeds. The king dispatched knight, bands of knights and heroes to kill Mathane, but he proved too difficult a foe. Finally, after three years of murdering, Mathane had killed 100 knights. He told the Chamberlain Haunt it was time to end the curse. The Chamberlain Haunt corrected him, reminded him of Fallon Paladin, that he had killed 101 knights of the king. Overcome with misery and regret, Methane nodded and immediately threw himself on his own spear. With Methane and Garland dead, the letter of the requirements fulfilled, the curse was ended, and Chamberlain Haunt was called Akron by Bane, screaming all the way. It's a plus five spear. Hmm. Okay. Time is it? I imagine we'll have... Yep. Blast.
are all relatively new and seems to be too big for a dwarf to sit in. And there's a thief over here trying to hide. Arkin. Well, well, what have we here? To whom do I owe the pleasure of this visit? I'll be asking the questions. Who are you? Actually, I'm called Kane, a good man. Who are you? I'm Lord Chamberlain Marketh. I'm responsible for making sure the new Dorne's Deep runs efficiently, among other things. Lord Chamberlain, new Dorne's Deep. That's a little pretentious, don't you think? Ah, Marketh. You're the guy who likes beating up women. You must feel like a really big man. Yeah, I guess I do feel like I'm pretty big. After all, I'm a human man, and Ginefei is a dark elf woman. They're not very sturdy. It's pretty easy to just throw them around if they lip off to you. You're actually joking about beating up a woman. That's rather be better than being serious about beating up men. That's practically all Ginefei did before Malavon brought her here. She was a priestess of Loth. Abusing her inferior male servants was practically her entire job. Malvon is her brother, and if you've met him, you know how deranged he is. Now, if you'll excuse me, uh, you don't get it here, Mar do you, Marketh? I came here for your badge. You're not going anywhere until you hand it over. You know, you look like a reasonable person. I'm just a thief. I'm not looking for a fight. I don't suppose there's any chance you'd just take the badge and let me go, is there? Hmm. Why don't you give me your badge at... Yeah, you know, just give me the badge and get out of here. Truly a saint. I'm sure the water will give you a big pat on the head when you die. Farewell. Okay. Low, lesser vigor. Golly, crafting stuff all over the place. Eerie four, statues of four serving maids flank this fireplace. The statues are clearly not of dwarven maids. Yeah. A fire bomb? Really? Lots of stuff. Oh, God. Oh, constitution decreased. Follow where I lead. I need to use potions more often. Why does you why do you need potions of vigor? You already regenerate. Four. Okay. There's a chest there. Oh, apparently already got it. Okay, might as well go down to tell Whoa, Kraken Society Mage.
Oh, right. Be the the dire wolf died because I already had a sum because I summoned something. Basically, that unsummoned. Well, there was that's where Seth went came from. Okay. I think um Kana is being held by a uh, Salamander's tongue. tools, hammers, things like that. Is this the third floor? Apparently so. Oh, little tiny halfling bed. Markev has left. I suppose there's no reason for me to stay here. I don't know what else to do. I suppose I should take the potion and leave this dead place. Thank you for your help and farewell. Farewell, King Fei. Okay. Let's see what Flozum has to say. Hey! Hey! Hey, you in here, little? You in here, guy? Are you in here, guy? Guy is not in here. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Greetings. Well, not right. Yeah. So what? Uh, nothing. I'll be leaving now. Sure. I'll see you later. Well, that's kind of. Wait a minute, what is in the back there? Oh, it's a bathtub. Well, aside from being abused, um, she had some luxury going on. She's probably going to end up going back to her, um, what do you call it, her house, her, 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 uh, home city, and they're going to viciously murder her or turn her into a drider. So, I kind of hope she gets lost and ends up in the surface where she has a chance of being not of becoming something worthwhile and not hideously evil and not, you know, dead and insane. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do um, a timer. Um, I'm going to pause this right now and go tab out and see how much time is on this one. Talk to you in a moment.